Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do factoring sum and difference of two cubes. So this topic is under grade 8 mathematics. Para ito sa mga batang nag-aaral ng math na kung saan ang pinaka-focus ng topics nila is all about factoring. So we have here two different patterns na kung saan itong pattern na to, yung first pattern natin is called sum of two cubes. And then the other one is the difference, is the pattern for difference of two cubes. Ngayon, usually, ganti mga pansin nyo, ito yung sum of two cubes, at ito naman yung difference of two cubes. And yung pattern, o yung para magiging, may encounter yung problem this time. So, ito naman yung kanyang mga factors. Ito yung factors nila. And then, i-explain ko sa inyo paano kunin yung pattern na yan. So, we have here, uh, the first one, papansin nyo, mag-focus tayo sa sum of two cubes. Mag-prepare lang kayo ng dalawang sets of parentheses. Dalawang sets of parentheses, ito yun. And then, yung isa pang binomial, at yung isa trinomial. Yun yung pattern. And then, para makuha niyo yung binomial factor, ito yung binomial factor, yung factor na may dalawang terms, ang kailangan mo lang gawin is to get the cube root of the first term. Yung first term mo kasi ay a cube. So, ang cube root ng a, a cube ay a. Ito siya. Lalagay mo siya dito. And then, yung second term naman ng inyong binomial factor, kunin mo lang yung cube root ng second term mo, which is b cube. At ang cube root ng b cube ay b. So, once na nakuha nyo na yung binomial factor, that will be uh, the, the determining factor of the trinomial factor. Ngayon, paano nyo nakukuha ngayon or paano yung pattern ngayon ng trinomial factor? So, mag-focus tayo dito. Paano nakuha to? Yung part na yan ay nakuha siya when you square the first term of your binomial factor. And then, okay na tayo dyan. Paano naman nakukuha tong second term ng inyong trinomial factor? You will just multiply your first term and second term, A times B, that is AB, when you multiply them. And then, since this one is addition, ang ilalagay nyo mo dyan ay subtraction. Ilalagay mo lang yung opposite sign niya. So, nakuha niyo ba yan? Next natin, focus naman natin to. Paano ngayon nakukuha yung third term na B squared? I square mo lang itong second term ng binomial factor. And that's it. Okay? So, for the difference of two cubes, same pattern para makuha ito. Cube root mo lang yung A cube, that is A. Then, cube root of B cube is B. Tapos, copyhin mo yung sign dito. If the given sign in your expression is negative or subtraction, ganun din yung magiging sign mo rito. And then, let's go with the trinomial factor. Focus tayo rito sa trinomial factor natin. Para makuha mo naman yung trinomial factor mo, i-square mo si first term. Ito siya. Okay? And then, para naman makuha mo yung second term, itong plus AB. Yung plus AB na yan, multiply this and this, that will give you AB. And then, since ito ay subtraction, gagay mo ang addition. Nakasunod. And then, for the last term, ito namang B squared, usually, or the process is, you need to square the last term or the second term of your binomial factor. So, later on, may imagine nyo talaga or may master nyo kung paano siya gawin within our examples. So, let's move on. I have here example number one. I think I have five examples. Sabi dito, factor out the following expressions. So, una, check nyo muna if applicable ba yung ating pattern na sum and difference of two cubes. So, check muna natin. Una, ito ba yung perfect cube? Yes. The first term is perfect cube, x cube. 
And then, look at the second term. Yung 8 by natin is a perfect cube. Yes, definitely, 8 is a perfect cube. And then, kung mapansin nyo, you have here the symbol or the addition sign. Ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin pattern ay yung sum of two cubes. So let's do this. Let's start with the binomial factor. Ang cube root ng x cube ay x. Therefore, your first term here is x. And then, the cube root of 8 is what? 2. Very good. 2. Kuli mo cube root. And then, copy the symbol plus symbol. Now, after that, using your binomial factor, alamin na rin natin ano yung trinomial factor ng ating sum of 2 cubes or ng x cubed plus 8. Ang gagawin mo, square mo lang to, you have x squared. Then, since ito ay plus, gagawin mo tong minus. Ang dami yun eh. And then, to get the middle term, multiply the first term and the second term. x times 2, that will give you 2x. Now, for the last term, for the last term, is square mo si 2. Ang 2 square is equal to 4. Okay? So, therefore, this is plus 4. By the way, always yung third term ng trinomial factor ay positive. So, these are the factors of x cubed plus 8. Now, let's move on to the second example. So, ginaya ko yung first example natin, pero subtraction nga lang siya. So, this one is x cubed minus 8. So, yung first term natin sa second, ter second term natin is definitely a perfect cube. Now, kung mapansin nyo lang, this one is subtraction. So, ang gagamitin natin pattern ay yung difference of two cubes. So, start tayo. Una, ihanda muna natin yung binomial factor natin. The cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of 8 is 2. So you have here x tapos 2. And then puntahan mo to, subtraction yan, therefore, minus sign din to. Okay? So let's move on with our trinomial factor. I square mo sa first term. So lagay natin yan dito, x squared. And then, para yung sign nito, since ito ay negative, subtraction, gagawin mo siyang plus or positive. Tapos i-multiply mo yung dalawang to. x times 2 is... 2x. Okay? Next natin gagawin is square natin tong second term para makuha natin yung third term ng trinomial factor. So, we have here 2 square that is plus 4. And these are the factors of x cubed minus 8. So, I hope na given those two examples ay nakita nyo na yung mismong pattern on how to use sum of two cubes and on how to factor sum of two cubes and how to factor difference of two cubes. So let's move on with our third example at hanggang five yan. So let's, let's go with this one. Una, syempre perfect cube to, and perfect cube din yung 64. So let's have the cube root of x cube, that is x, and then the cube root of 64 is equal to 4, I think. Kasi 4 times 4 is 16, times 4, that will give you 64. So, pwede na natin ngayon iset yung ating binomial factor. So, you have x tapos plus sign yan, plus 4. Okay? Since we already have the binomial factor, let's move on to the trinomial factor. I square mo lang to. So, that is x squared. And then, look at the symbol. The symbol is positive. So, you will be using minus or negative. And then, multiply the first term and second term. X times 4, that will give you 4X. 
And then lastly, square mo ang second term. That is 4 squared. That will give you 16, right? Okay, 16. Therefore, the last term of your trinomial factor is 16. And this is, or these are, the factors of x cubed plus 64. The factors are the quantity of x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 16. Now, so as you can see, habang tumatagal, naging complicated yung ating examples. So let's move on to item number 4. We need to examine first if the terms are perfect cube. So tingnan natin. So 27 is a perfect cube and y cube is also a perfect cube. Therefore, your first term is a perfect cube. How about 1? Is it a perfect cube? Yes. Because you have 1 times 1 times 1 that will give you the product of 1. So let's go and find the cube root of each or those terms. The cube root of 27y cube is none other than 3y. Because the cube root of 27 is 3, the cube root of y cube is y. And then the cube root of 1 is 1. So, since meron at nakuha mo ng cube roots ng first terms, first term and second term of your given difference of two cubes, pwede mo na ngayong iset. Again, iset. Iset na natin ngayon yung binomial factor. That is 3y. Then, minus 1. And then, let's move on to the trinom trinomial factor. Pag in-square natin, nagay ko lang dito, yung 3y, that is equivalent to 9y squared. Because 3 squared is 9, y squared is y squared. So your first term here is 3y squared. Now let's move on to the next term. This is subtraction. Therefore, anong gagamitin natin? Very good. We will be using plus symbol. Kailangan opposite sign. And then, to get the middle term, multiply this and this. You have 3y times 1. Definitely, that will give you 3y. And then square the second term. Ang square ng 1 ay walang iba kundi 1. And these are the factors of example number 4. Okay? So, medyo naging complicated, pero kaya-kaya lang yan using the pattern. Let's move on with number 5. This will be the last. We have 8x cubed plus y cubed. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon dito, yung bang mga terms natin ay puro perfect cube? Yes. So, kunin natin ang cube root of 8x cubed. That will give you, ang cube root ng 8 ay 2, ang cube root ng x cubed ay x. Therefore, the cube root is 2x. The cube root of y cubed is y. So, since meron ka ng cube roots, set na natin ngayon yung binomial factors. You have 2x, and then copy the symbol, plus y. And then, you have here, the next one is the trinomial factor. Square mo lang itong first term. Your 2x squared is equal to 4x squared. So you have your 4x squared. And then get your middle term 2x times y. It will give you 2xy. Pero, nagamit tayo ng minus sign. Dahil, plus sign yung ginamit dito sa ating ano, binomial factor. So, minus 2xy. And then, square natin yung last term mo, which is y, square natin. So, your last term here is y squared. So, these are the factors of the trinomial of the sum of, the, sum of two cubes, 8x cubed plus y cubed. So, in this kind of examples, sana naman ay natutunan nyo yung pattern on how to factor out 
sum and difference of two cubes. I hope na natutunan nyo talaga ito within our tutorial video. And kung bago ka lang syempre sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. And I hope na makapag-share ka ng mga videos ko para mas maraming tao ang makakita ng ating mga tutorial videos. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye!